Uh, I've been playing Call of Duty since I was uh, 10 years old. So I'm going on my 12th year of just playing COD, but competitively, I've been pro since I was 18. I guess I chose to go pro and call down, and I've always just played Call of Duty. I liked it a lot, and that's what I got into like the online tournaments and like game battles in. Just kind of like introduced me to the pro scene of that. I didn't know about like pro scenes of other games until after the fact, to be honest. For Call of Duty, I would say like I want to consider myself a veteran. I mean, I've been playing for the past like five years, but this is my second year competing because I finally turned 18 and now I'm 19. But I've been playing online tournaments for seven years, six years, I want to say five years, somewhere around there. And like I made my name through that, so that's why I'm here today. Um, being picked up by G2 was an amazing thing. Orgs just like that are professional, so I love being under a professional org. And so, G2 is such a big org, so being under them is amazing. Uh, it was definitely a surreal feeling. Like I've followed Counter-Strike, I played Counter-Strike. Like, I played probably with, like 2,000 hours into Counter-Strike, so I know all the Counter-Strike teams, and G2 is one of my favorites because of Kenny S, obviously. And, um, so being on a team with like, Kenny S on it is just surreal to me. It's like a world-class organization, so it's definitely a great feeling. Mm, I like my new teammates. Obviously, like when we formed the team, we did pick each other because we knew each other. And like I've actually played with uh, Ricky and Blast before. They were my teammates before Envy. And then Bryce was new, but I think he just like works well with us. Worked out. Uh, I like them a lot. Uh, Raseem or Blastful at first was kind of like, I wouldn't say annoying, but he was kind of hard to get used to at first because he's a really talkative person. He loves to just always be saying something. So I kind of wasn't used to that with like past teammates. But I mean, overall now, I feel like all of us have gotten to be really good friends and teammates. And you could just tell, I, I feel like with this boot camp that we're all starting to understand each other more. And I feel like that's really helped their gameplay. Like uh, nobody really argues that much here. Like there'll be some, but it's like, it gets resolved. Like you can't just leave and walk away, you know? And I feel like that really helps us with the whole boot camp aspect. And yeah, I feel like I'm just getting kind of used to my teammates. I only teamed with one of them before this team. So now that I've like gotten used to them more, learned how to get better with them, it, it seems like it's getting a lot smoother now. Um, I think boot camp was needed because if you're all in the same room, like you can go over things together and get on the same page faster. I don't know why that is, but it's just like a thing. Uh, my team got a lot better when we came to this boot camp. I don't think we're ready at the moment to get first. Um, definitely gonna have to finish this boot camp out strong because when we were playing online back at home, we, did, we didn't get like as good as quality practice as we did here. So this definitely helped, but I think if we, um, we might be able to put it together by the end of this boot camp if we go super hard. Um, I've only been a part of two boot camps before, and it was uh, when I was on Team Envy. I felt like that boot camp really just turned us around. Like it gave us like a whole new uh, like energy in, at the event. And then I feel like the same thing here. Like we were kind of struggling online a bit. Uh, we're all kind of in weird spots for, I guess, the game you could say. Yeah, as the days go on in the boot camp, I think each day uh, I become more confident in the team and myself just because we're going over things. We're, we're just really taking it serious. I mean, winning is always the goal, but uh, I, wouldn't be any, I wouldn't be satisfied with anything less than top four. Top four, if you get top four at this tournament, your whole year's set, you make the league, you're guaranteed, and then you're just in a really good spot for the rest of the year. We got Splice and Optic in our pool, and we don't know the other team yet because they got to qualify for that pool play spot. But Optic is definitely the best team in the game right now by far. Like they've literally destroyed every team. Like not like they've blown out every single top team. And like so like they're definitely the team you like you want to look out for. And they're in our pool. I think they've won like every online tournament. They don't really lose. And they, most of the scrims they play against other teams and stuff, they're not losing many maps to them either. So they definitely look the strongest. And we actually they're in our pool. So that's probably going to be one of the top matches. Yeah, I trust my teammates. I think we, we have like a good bond, but we're definitely a team that's weaker at hard point, which is two out of the five games. So I guess you just put it into practice, like you said, and then once you once you have it down and you know like what you need to do and how to work with your teammates, it just just kind of just falls into place like at the event and stuff. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was kind of looking like we didn't really understand how the game was. But I feel like I said over the past week and then with this boot camp, I feel like you could just see us improving every day. Our rotations are getting better, stuff like that. Him and him and Bryce are like, Bryce is like more like a monk type person. He's always giving you like random quotes. <laughs> like, he like he'll like give you a random quote and just be like, live by that. No, no, it's weird. The funniest is definitely Gene, uh, Big Gene. He, his laugh gets me every time when he starts laughing, I can't stop. Laziest is definitely goes to regime again. He's the goofiest and the laziest. Uh, he was an hour late here today, so 
that should explain it all? The goofiest player, like on my team? I'd probably say myself. Uh, uh, I tend to just joke around a lot. I feel like more than anybody else on the team. Most serious player, I'd probably say Ricky. Oh no, yeah, there's a lot of team bonding going out this boot camp. For example, they just all went out to eat while I'm doing this interview, like. It's very important, like Astro and Logitech, they hooked it up. I mean, we have, we're playing on a really good internet connection. We have the best headsets in the market. I'd say probably five years, maybe I've had an Astro headset. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure like most of everyone across Call of Duty, at least for console, just all uses Astros. I think, because I'm one of those people who game for a long time, so I'll probably wear my headset from like 10 hours a day, most likely. And I just feel like I never get tired of wearing them. Like they never hurt my head when I have a headset on. And I feel like Astro does the best in just comfort. Yeah, we feel very, very confident. Like just the improvement we've shown in the past two or three days of boot camping is just like, it's just given us such a high confidence booster compared to our online gameplay and we're really excited to play. Uh, the boot camp was needed just because, again, the online for us was not the amazing practice and we just needed a boot camp together to reevaluate re our practice, go over the little things, be together so we're all prepared going to the event and we're just on top of each other here. I don't think we have leadership that other teams don't. Most teams usually have like one or two people who are really vocal or like leaders. The other people can more just like backseat kind of and we have people like that and more vocal leader type people. Personal goal was just to get better as a team. We just all like to have fun. Our, our team dynamics, we just like to have fun. We have a good time and we love playing. And we like playing with each other, so um, it's, it's great. <laughs>